Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Denver 7 edition of at 11. I'm Molly Hendrickson. The roads were definitely slick and icy this morning, but as you can see on our live weather radar, that bitter cold and snow won't be going away anytime soon. What you're looking at right now is not a line of cars waiting for the light to turn green. That is a 10 car fender bender that happened this morning on Spear and 7th. Two drivers were given tickets. That road reopened after about two hours. This scene was nearly quadrupled over the weekend after 49 cars piled into each other on Pena heading out to the airport. 17 people were hurt. No one was sighted. And it's not just Denver where roads are turning into a skating rink. This is up in the mountains. Very snowy up there and more snow could be on the way. We have team coverage this morning. We want to get straight to it. Meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo is in our weather center and Denver 7's Jackie Crea is in Genesee. But we want to start with our Micah Smith who talked with some of those frustrated drivers this morning who were rear ended on spear. Molly, I talked to five of the drivers involved in the crash and they all say speed was not a factor, but the icy road was. Car after car after car slam into each other on ice covered Spear Boulevard in downtown Denver. You know, the car fishtailing, so I just slowed it down and then got jolted from behind by a vehicle, and then from there it was just a complete pile up. Ten cars total were involved. And one of the drivers, Jessica Esther, says it wasn't because they were driving too fast. It was the sheet of ice on the roadway. You could hear it just one after another. And it was actually kind of scary, you know. I mean, it got louder and louder as cars were smacking into each other. And so it's unfortunate. Michael McMinn says he hit the brakes eight car lengths behind the crash. I just slid the entire distance and, uh, and hit the gentleman in front of me. What was going it, through your mind at that time? It was like, oh no, this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. I have no control. It's going to, it's just going to happen. Police officers on scene say no one was hurt, but McMinn and Esther say other drivers beware. Even when the snow stops, roads may be worse than they appear. Two of the 10 drivers were cited. I talked to a police officer on scene here, and he says technically these are two separate crashes, and the last car in each crash received a ticket. Now it's time to check in with my colleague Jackie Crea in Genesee. And Jackie, you're at a much happier scene than I am. <laughs> Uh, maybe so. Yeah, it doesn't get more Colorado than this, right? We've got, uh, we're calling him Billy the Buffalo behind us. We've gotten to know him over the last couple hours. He's just posing. People have been kind of stopping by and snapping photos over here and over there. Uh, snow's been kind of coming in flurries for at least four or five hours. But isn't this gorgeous? This herd of bison uh, just kind of grazing. They've been hanging out earlier this morning. There were elk. So we had kind of a front row seat to just an awesome view. Um, if you want to look a little further towards the highway there, things are moving pretty smoothly and just some gorgeous snow capped trees out here. Um, been pretty nice. It's very cold, but I tell you this view right here makes it all worth it. We talked to several people actually got to meet a couple people from out of town, much warmer climates, kind of seeing what Colorado is all about and got really just a, a beautiful gift this morning. I've never ever seen a buffalo <laughs> up close like this. So we just, my son was telling us that, you know, that there's buffalo on the, you know, there's buffaloes on the way. So I decided, you know what, let's jump and buy. <laughs> They're beautiful, 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 big and beautiful. And it's so beautiful out here. I uh, saw pictures of the elk and the buffalo and decided to come on up and see for ourselves, take a few pictures. It's great. It's really neat. We saw a couple of buffalo playing around up there. I think you probably got pictures of that. It's a privilege. It's a privilege to live here. And he was actually uh, watching our newscast this morning and saw that we had this uh, front row seat to all these bison out here. So he came and checked it out himself. But uh, just kind of a small flurry here and there, a little bit of wind, but nothing too crazy, nice and calm. Um, and that's all we got going on here. I'll send it back to you guys. All right, thanks, Jackie. And it is a privilege to live here, even though when it's 12 degrees out, sometimes we have to remind ourselves yeah. of that. Or when you're stuck in traffic, right? Yes. It is true, though. Beautiful outside right now. A mix 
explosive conditions. This is the view right now in Boulder there on Pearl Street, and I've been watching some of the cameras. We had a little light snow there, but now seeing a bit of sunshine and in fact some blue skies right now here in Denver. So we'll be in and out of some of these flurries throughout the afternoon. Uh, most of us here right around the metro area picked up about an inch or two overnight, and as you get up into the foothills, it's going to be heavier there right around five to seven inches. Satellite and radar though right now pretty clear still under a first alert action day though because even with a little blue sky it is cold out there we're looking at some teens this afternoon and we should get close to about 20 in some neighborhoods under again a bit more cloud cover but with that wind it's going to feel more like single digits this afternoon a pretty chilly wind chill Overnight tonight into tomorrow, we've got another round of snow. So this was just the first round. We'll get more tonight into tomorrow. We'll take a look at how much more we're expecting and what that's going to mean early tomorrow morning. Uh, Molly coming up in just a few minutes. Round two. Thanks, Lisa. All of this new snow just means we have to be extra careful in the high country. This warning should be taken especially serious after two Aspen area men died in an avalanche near Crested Butte over the weekend. Now this is a look at the latest avalanche conditions. All that orange is where the risk for an avalanche is concerned considerable right now and with more snow to come tonight we can't stress this enough if you see law enforcement out on the side of the road slow down and move over we've now had three Colorado State Patrol cruisers and a trooper hit in the last three days the most recent happened Sunday afternoon on I-25 near the Wyoming border thankfully in this case the trooper was not inside and the damage was not serious you can stay up to date on the latest conditions by downloading the free Denver 7 app. Just for, search for the app in your phone's app store to get real-time weather and traffic updates sent right to the palm of your hand.